Today, a young man on acid realized that all matter is merely energy condensed to a slower vibration, that we are all one consciousness experiencing itself subjectively. There's no such thing as death. Life is only a dream and you're the imagination of yourself. Here's Tom with the weather. <laughs> What a fucking story. Folks, it's time to evolve, man. That's why we're troubled, because you know why our institutions are failing us? Uh, the church, the state, everything's failing. It's because um, they're no longer relevant. <laughs> they're not relevant anymore. It's, we're supposed to keep evolving. You know, evolution didn't end with us growing opposable thumbs. Did you know that? There's another 90% of our brains that we have to illuminate. Illuminate. That brings me back to that little thing that grows on a cow, turd. Come on, Dad. I want to trip. Actually, I try to get my dad to trip with me, which is uh, very dangerous. I, you know, uh, that could be very heavy duty for a man. He's 75, and you know, I don't know if he could if he'd get what I get out of it. You know what I mean? He might get into a. I'd hate to have my dad weeping next to me. I just love brush. Dad. Damn, this is not the outcome we're supposed to get from this. It's supposed to be where your ego dissolves and you realize the true nature of our reality, which is mind, and that we literally all are one, and there's no such thing as death, and our bodies are an illusion, and God's eternal love is unconditional, and never have we left it other than the dream of the fall from grace, which is just an illusionary dream, and never has God been unloving to us, and we can wake up and remember God's eternal, unconditional love. I just want to watch Rush! Oh shit, Dad's not getting off on these like I am. I guess I have to do the only thing I can do. Acceptance. And forgiveness. It's the only two that you've got left. And evolution, if you're interested in it. Americans on the front row. <laughs> now this is comedy. <laughs> that Bill Hicks is just bitter. I get tired listening to him. Why can't he hit fruit with a man with a hammer? watching Rush Limbaugh the other day. <laughs> Tom talked about Rush Limbaugh. I have my own thoughts as well. It's completely odious and pathetic, laughable, if it weren't so pathetic human being. Then he reminds you of one of those gay guys that likes to lay in a tub while other guys pee on him. <laughs> Placid little body laying in a tub while Reagan, Bush, and Quail are just pissing all over him. I'm so proud of that new routine. I haven't seen that one yet. I came up with that yesterday, Friday. It started when I came up with the phrase scat muncher and worked backwards. Yeah, that's a revelation. It ain't a revelation. He's staring in the face. Such a <laughs> a spreader of hate and dissension. Once again, an ego, fever, tainting our collective unconscious. Looking through the body's eyes and not the <laughs> third spiritual eye, the pineal gland, which mushrooms open up wide and clear. And you suddenly realize that God's love is eternal and unconditional, and never, ever, ever have we ever been without it. And it's only our misperception and our own ego that has made us feel lonely, afraid, scared of death, there's no such thing, I'm sorry, we are immortal, holy children of God, case closed, be in, if anyone here's got mushrooms, I got cash. <laughs> This weird thing about trying to illuminate the collective unconscious and help humanity. But moron! I hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming to my final show. like
the sun.